Hey, what's up everybody? We're gonna be going over some stuff in Redshift today, and I'm gonna show you how to really quickly add a specific color palette to a lot of objects in your scene. We're gonna be doing that using the color user data node. All right, so here's our scene, and we've imported this. This is from our low poly scenery pack. But let's say that we want all of these objects to have a very specific color palette. So we have all of these materials right now, and we're gonna just condense these all into one single material. So we're gonna hold Alt, and drag and drop this to replace these textures. And we're just gonna keep doing that until we only have one texture in our entire scene. So we'll just hold Alt and drag these over each other until we have only one left. All right, so we're gonna be using a gradient to colorize these with a specific color palette. So let's just make that gradient right now. We'll make a new texture. In Cinema 40, let's go to texture and add a gradient. All right, let's twirl down the gradient texture. And there's another little hidden twirl down here. If we click that one, we're going to have these presets. So we can click load preset and have all these presets. But I want a really specific one. So we're just gonna start with something like scheme five. So we're gonna be using color.adobe.com to make our color palette here. And you can uh, change to monochromatic, triad, complementary. There's a lot of great ways to pick colors in here. All right, so I'm gonna go to analogous and we'll just pick something really quick here just so we can keep moving. I haven't found a great way to bring in these, this color data except for to do it manually, but it's pretty easy. So if you go to save, then you can just go to my themes. And if you do that under my library, we now have our new color theme. If we click on that, there's a really handy hover and copy for these hex numbers. So you can just click to copy. And then let's double click our knot here and we can go to our hex number by clicking right here and we'll just paste that in, hit okay. And now we'll go through the process of just copying these guys and pasting them into here to get our color swatch that we like. All right, so we've imported all those. I'm just gonna delete this last knot here. All right, so now that we have this, we wanna save this because everything in our project is going to have this color palette. So we'll click save preset and we're gonna call this uh, tutorial and I'll hit okay. And now anytime you hit load preset, now you have that custom preset in here, which is great. All right, so let's go ahead and delete that right now since we have that gradient set up and let's create a new Redshift material. So we'll go to Redshift material material and I'm gonna drag and drop that holding alt over that final material. So now everything in our scene has that one Redshift material. All right, so we have a ton of different pieces of uh, geometry in here and it would take a lot of time to go in here and colorize each of these different pieces but we can do it really quickly by jumping into our nodes. So let's open up that Redshift material and I'm gonna hit uh, render on here so we can see what's going on. And right now we just have everything the same color. So we're gonna go to our nodes and we're going to go to our color uh, user data node. So color user data. And we're gonna pipe that into our Redshift material onto this blue twirl down. We're gonna drag it over to our diffuse and diffuse color. All right, everything's black right now because we haven't specified what we want it to color yet. If we go to this twirl down and go to objects, we have geometry ID color. Let's go ahead and click that. And now you can see that everything has its own color. Now this is based on the geometry ID. So you can see this building is all blue. If we click it and then hover over our object panel here and hit S to find it, you can see that this skyscraper is all one polygonal object. Whereas something like this building, if we find that one in our hierarchy, you can see that this high rise actually has multiple pieces to it and that's why it has different colors. So you can always set up this so that maybe the windows are split off and they'll be a different color if you want to. But anyway, just like that, you can see how we can quickly assign a random color to each of our elements. And now we just need to figure out how to get our gradient onto them. And we're gonna do that using the ramp node. So let's type in ramp and drag it into here. And we're gonna put the ramp in between here. So we'll drag our RS color user data node output into the ramp and we'll put that into the input here. And then we'll drag the out color into that diffuse color. So now we're running this color user data through a ramp. And by default, everything is this ramp right here, which is black or white. If we twirl down our ramp, we can go ahead and find that preset that we saved. Let's click load preset and we'll go find that tutorial preset. And just like that, we're able to colorize with a specific color palette, hundreds of objects in our scene with just a few clicks. So that is the color user data node in Redshift, super handy. Hope you guys found that useful and we'll talk to you next time. Ciao.